This is CNC World, a new perspective. Now the latest from the ongoing Venice Film Festival. Keeping up with China's fast technology-led development, Chinese language films are nowadays getting a lot of recognition. Still, they might not be a perfect fit for the Venice Festival this year. In this year's Venice Film Festival, the Chinese movie Stray Dogs by Taiwan-based director Tsai Mingliang is among the 20 titles vying for the Golden Lion, the festival's top honor. The Chinese films being shown but not in competition included two restored classics, Almost a Love Story by Hong Kong director Peter Ho Sao Chen and In the Heat of the Sun by Jiang Wen. He was also a member of the festival's international jury. Chinese filmmakers saw their best years at Venice under the festival's former artistic director Marco Muella, with multiple Golden Lions won by directors including An Li, Zhang Yimou, Jia Zhang Ke, and Xiao Xian Ho. Li, a two-time winner of the Golden Lion, served as president of the Venice Film Festival jury in 2009. However, well in 2011, there were six Chinese features in the main categories. This year, there is only one full-length feature and competition, and one short in the Horizons category. Festival director Alberto Barrera noted that the timing of production and market trends have impeded the presence of Chinese-language films at the Venice Festival. The fast technological improvements in the Chinese film industry, a huge market and lower costs have attracted more filmmakers to join, including pioneering director James Cameron. Now China is mainly producing mass market films for home consumption. They still tell stories for the Chinese audience. Thus their international appeal is still limited. However, I believe it won't take much for Chinese film industry to realize it needs also create exportable products that can be shared by people with different cultures to expand the market abroad. The Venice Film Festival is known for its independence and artistry. Speaking of the impact of new technologies brought to the filmmaking process, Barbera said that almost all film festivals are facing the same. All the technological revolution will lead to essential transformation of movie aesthetics. In the early years, cinema has transitioned from silent to talking films, and also the introduction of light equipment has cut down the production costs. The same is happening now with digital technology, which further reduces production costs and simplifies the filmmaking process. People can use very small cameras to record live and make films, which hugely changes the way of filmmaking. This is CNC World, a new perspective.